Good day everyone. So in this video lesson, we are going to discuss measures of position for group data. We're going to use this formula. So where L stands for the lower boundary, N is the total number of observation, CW is the class width or the class size, CF is the cumulative frequency of the preceding class, F stands for the frequency of the class. So we're going to use this formula in order to find the quartile, decile, and percentile. I stands for, I is equal to 4 if quartiles is unknown. I is equal to 10 if deciles is unknown. And 100 if that is percentiles. For example, this, given the scores of 40 students in a 60-point quiz, Okay, here's the scores from 5 to 10. Okay, uh, two students got two. Okay, uh, 11 to 16, three students. 17 to 22, scores of 17 to 22. Okay, merong apat na estudyante na ako. 23 to 28, 11. 29 to 34, that is 10. 35 to 42. 41 to 46, 1. 47 to 52, 4. 53 to 58, 3. But in order to find the quartile, so you, we need to uh, first get the lower boundary. So how to find the lower boundary? So focus tayo sa, focus tayo sa lower limit natin. And then subtract lang tayo ng 0.5. So from 53, bawasan ng 0.5, that is 52.5. 47 minus 0.5, that is 46.5. 41 minus 0.5, that is 40.5. So, same process sa iba. And after that, makuha yung lower boundary, we need to find the cumulative frequency or the less than cumulative frequency. Since nasa baba yung mababang scores natin, yung unang uh, mababang group natin, that is 5 to 10, so dito tayo mag-start. So ang starting point natin dito, yung starting uh, frequency natin dito is 2, since di 2 yung start dito. So that is 2. So after that, so paano makuha yung next? Add natin sa susunod na frequency. So 2 plus 3, that is 5. And then add again. 5 plus 4, that is 9. Plus 11, that is 20. Plus 10, that is 30. So same. 32 plus 1, 33. Plus 4, 37. Plus 3, 40. Okay, so ito lang ang kailangan natin. In order to find the quartile, deciles, and percentiles for group data. So using the formulas, kukunin natin yung first quartile. Okay, so ang una natin makukuha yung total number ng frequency dahil kailangan natin siya sa pag-solve ng KN over I. So ano yung K natin dito? K is 1 since ang kinukuha is first quartile. Kung third quartile ang kinukuha, so 3 yung K natin. So K times N, so 1 times 40 over 4. Bakit 4 yung I natin? Kasi quartile. So again, kapag quartile, yung I natin is 4. So 1 times 40, divide 4, that is 10. So saan natin makukuha? Sa ang group ang kukunin natin dito or sa ang classes yung makukuha natin. So dito tayo titingin sa cumulative frequency. So si 10 ay nasa pagitan ni 20 and 9. So, sa pagitan ng 20 and 9, pero ang kukunin nyo dyan yung mas mataas. So, that is 20. So, therefore, yan yung uh, kukunin natin. From, mula dyan, makukuha na natin yung ibang given na nakakailanganin natin sa formula natin. The cumulative frequency, sabi kanina, this is the preceding uh, frequency no before, no? or the before the uh, cumulative frequency frequency of the classes na napili natin. So, hindi yung 20, but that is 9. So, yung bago, bago dumating, no? So, that is, then the lower boundary, makukuha na natin, 22.5. And then, frequency niya is 11. So, the class width is 6, eh, or the class size is 6. Paano nakukuha si class width? So, bilang tayo, 23 to 28, so 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Kaya 6. So, nakuha na natin yung mga given natin. So, pwede na natin substitute sa 
formula. So that is 22.5. So the lower boundary is 22.5 plus Kn over I that is 10 minus 9 over 11 times 6. So anong unang gagawin? So perform muna natin operation natin sa loob ng parenthesis. So 10 minus 9 divide 11. That is 1 divide 11 times 6. And then ito, and ito naman ang next. 1 divide 11 times 6, that is 0 0.54. 0 0.54 plus 22.5, that is equivalent to 23.05. So, ibig sabihin, the first quartile is equivalent to 23.05. Next, find the ninth decile. So, same process. Kailangan natin yung lower boundary and the less than cumulative frequency. So, in order to get the K and so ang K natin is 9 since 9 yung hinahanap. So 9 times 40 divide 10. Bakit 10? Yung I na natin dito ay 10, hindi 4 because decile yung hinahanap natin. So 9 times 40 divide 10, that is 36. So si 36 ay nasa pagitan ni 33 and 37. So ang kukunin natin yung mas mataas and that is 37. After that, so, makukuha na natin si commutative frequency and that is 33. Yung lower boundary natin, 46.5. Frequency, that is 4. And then, the class width is 6. So, substitute sa formula. 46.5 plus 36 minus 33 divide 4 times 6. Okay, so unahin natin ni yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. 36 minus 33, that is 3 times 4 times 6. And 3 divide 4 times 6, that is 4.5, plus 46.5, that is equal to 51. So therefore, 9th decile is equal to 51. Next, find the 70th percentile. So, same process, given uh, kailangan si lower boundary, si cumulative frequency. And then, yung P natin, yung K natin dito is 70. So, 70 times 40 over 100. So, yung I na natin is 100 kasi percentile. So, 70 times 40 divide 100 is equal to 28. So, si 28 tingin dito na sa pagitan ng 20 and 30. Siyempre, kunin natin yung mas mataas and that is 30. So, ito yung group na kailangan natin. So, therefore, yung CF natin is 20. Yung lower boundary is 28.5, this one, and the frequency is 10, and the class width is 6, or the class size is 6. Then, substitute lang natin. Okay, 70, uh, tw the lower boundary is 28.5 plus 28 minus 20, divide 10 times 6. So, 28 minus 20 is 8. Divide 10 times 6, and 8 divide 10 times 6, that is 4.8, plus 28.5, the answer is 33.3. So, ibig sabihin, the 70th percentile is equal to 33.3. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.